the popular weight loss supplement that put people in the hospital and some needed liver transplants, and it may be in your home right now. I'm looking at a brand new review article titled, Heptotoxicity of Dietary Supplements Containing Garcinia Cambogia. These researchers looked at 200 cases where Garcinia Cambogia was linked to liver problems and liver failure, and they zeroed in on 34 cases that had the best documentation, and this is what they found. These cases involved 26 women and eight men. Nine of those people needed liver transplants, and one of them is no longer with us. In half of those cases, 17, Garcinia Cambogia was deemed to be a probable or high probable cause of their liver problems. All of them had elevated liver enzymes, and in seven of the 17 reports, Garcinia Cambogia was the only thing they were taking. They weren't taking any medications, alcohol, or other supplements. In fact, in one of those cases, they actually re-challenged the person. In other words, after they started to get better, they gave them Garcinia Cambogia again, and they got worse. One of the things about Garcinia Cambogia that makes this complicated is that not everybody who takes this supplement has liver problems, which always made me wonder if there was some sort of a genetic link going on here. And these researchers do indeed point to a potential genetic association. They're pointing to a specific allele called HLA-B3501. Unfortunately, you won't know if you have that unless you get genetic tested. And who's going to do that before you take a dietary supplement? One of my problems with the dietary supplement industry is that they don't usually call things out that are potentially dangerous. I'm calling this out and I have for a number of years. Garcinia Cambogia should not be allowed in dietary supplements. If this is in your supplement and you're taking it, you're taking a big risk.